What's up guys, it's Jay, more than after kill, and I decided to do something a little bit different today. I was talking with a few of my friends, and we got together a list of the top 10 things that a man should never do to another man, or else it'll stop him from being friends with that man. So let's get right down the list. Number 10, crying in front of you. The reason this rule comes in last on the list is because there's a few exceptions. If he cries in front of you because his girlfriend broke up with him, one of his pets died, or from physical pain, it's alright to laugh or to stop being friends with him. It's alright to cry from all three of these things, just keep it to yourself. However, it's alright to cry and to follow in three situations. A funeral, your favorite team's loss in a championship match, and the breaking of your favorite bonger bowl. Number 9, becoming a vegetarian. Becoming a vegetarian is a lifestyle choice, and it's alright if you're not comfortable with it. In fact, it'd be weirder if you weren't. It will, and I shit you not, it will interfere with your friendship, as now all your favorite places to eat are rendered useless, because you can't go out with your friends anymore. Shit, even saying the words, let's get a salad in front of more than one man, is cause for being punched in the chest. Feel free to mock them accordingly for the rest of the day. Number 8, cock blocking. Cock blocking one of your guy's friends is a serious offense. Not only should you do everything in your power to make sure your friend looks as cool as possible in front of some hot ass pussy, but it's almost expected of you to be such an asshole to this girl that your friend looks like Wayne Brady in comparison. One exception to this rule is an intentional cock block to stop a drunken friend from fucking a sea donkey. An intentional cock block should only be tried to be performed once. If he denies in any sort of way, let him make his own fucking mistakes. Number 7. Stealing from a friend. Never are you permitted to steal from a friend of yours. The unknown removal of any objects from his possession is not only against the law, but it's a pretty dick move. Taking one of the following listed items is allowed without permission. A beer from the fridge, Wi-Fi internet, or cable from a roommate. In fact, taking them if they didn't offer first is punishment for them not offering it up in the first place. Number 6. Letting him get his ass kicked. Standing by and allowing your friend to get his ass kicked is fucked up. You should never let a friend take a full on ass whooping without you getting involved. If he truly does deserve it or has broken one of the rules on his list, it's okay to not throw a punch, but you still break up the fight after he's taken a good punch or two. Number 5. Not bailing you out. If a friend is arrested and he calls you to bail him out, it's your responsibility to do everything in your power to get him out of jail. If you don't have enough money to bail him out, it's your job to call everyone he knows to raise enough money to get him out. Under no circumstances are you to have a beer until he's released to enjoy it with you. You aren't obligated to contribute to his bail if you're notified by a family member that's not in your man group. It's his fucking fault if he didn't call you. Number 4. Kicking in the balls. In no way, shape, or form are you permitted to kick a friend in the balls. Period. Never. End of story. Number three, ratting you out. Snitches get stitches. This is no debate here. If a friend rats out another friend, whether it's to the police, school administration, his girlfriend, or his family, you're never to throw your friend under the bus. The only exception to this rule is if someone asks who ate the last slice of pizza, who drank the last beer, or who clogged the toilet. This isn't ratting out but finding out who's buying the next pizza, who's going on the next beer run, or who the fuck's getting in the bathroom and plunging that goddamn toilet, because it's not going to be me. Number two, fucking your girlfriend, sister, or any family members. You should never fuck your friend's girlfriend, sisters, or any family members from first cousin to kin. Second cousin and beyond are fair game. Should one of your friends reveal to you that he fucked a friend of a friend's mom, girlfriend, sister, or close family member, you're obligated to break rule number three of this list and tell that friend, but only if he's a mutual friend of yours. If not, then celebrate together with a beer of stories of how he fucked his friend's sister's girlfriend or mother and shots to celebrate for fucking the mother because, you know, that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> if you choose to forgive the friend, you reserve the right to fuck a family member or future girlfriend of his, and you also reserve the right to take you out for beers to celebrate and cheers every time you feel like it that night. It's only right. Number one, trying to fuck you. Never, and I mean never, are you allowed to reveal that you have a crush on your friend and wish to perform in sexual acts. It's hard enough for a man to get out of the friend zone with a girl. It's almost downright deadly to try to suck your friend's cock. 
If for any reason this happens to you, you reserve the right to not only laugh in his face, punch him in the face, or feel free to bring this up in public at any point in time you please. Being gay is fine. Being gay with your friend is not fine. If your friend still decides to be friends with you after this, it's up to you to never bring it up again. Never try to initiate a man hug and to refrain from looking at his cock at the urinals. <laughs> Alright, so that's the top 10 list of things that me and my friends think that you should never do to another guy. If you disagree with anything on this list or have something to add, make sure you leave them down in the comments. But I also do want to tell you guys that I put up a video yesterday, actually it was like 4 o'clock this morning, of me and my girlfriend do a dual commentary while we were playing Avatar Paintball. Now the only reason I want to mention Avatar Paintball is it's an 80 Microsoft Point Xbox Live game, which means it cost $1 and you can buy it on Xbox Live Indie Game Marketplace and I was figuring since this game is real easy to find people in I wanted to do an open lobby on this game sometime like Friday or Saturday let me know what time is best for you guys I was thinking maybe like started at like 6 maybe 5 o'clock Eastern time on Friday or Saturday I don't know uh, tomorrow's Friday it's kind of short notice so I was maybe Saturday might be a little bit better for that so make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe let me know what time is best for an open lobby and I'm gonna see See you guys later. <laughs>